news. Now, if there uh, ever was an international award for machination and political intrigue, it would certainly go to the government of the Gambia. But there isn't. President Yaya Jame hired a director of communications in 2011 and then promptly sacked her three months into the job. Then hired her again this year and then three months into the job. Well, yes, he guessed it. He sacked her again in August. Now, after being fired... Fatu Kamara went on to present a show on the country's only television network. But in mid-September, she was picked up at night by agents of the country's dreaded National Intelligence Agency, ostensibly on sedition charges. Well, she's now fled to the United States of America, and from there she's been speaking to Focus on Africa's Isol Williams. People are living in fear. People are not comfortable. People cannot even talk on the phone because they're scared somebody would be listening to their conversation. Even in your own house, you cannot talk. Before people talk, they have to go outside and look outside the door and make sure that nobody is listening to them. So I think the political climate is definitely not conducive at all in the Gambia. If you say the political climate is not conducive, I mean, you were part of that political apparatus, weren't you? What did you do while you were in, yes. in office to bring about change? Well, I was the first press secretary to bring the president to get him to meet with the journalist. And if the president is listening to me, he knows that I've always been talking to him about accommodating the press. I guess that is what it is. I was part of that system. That's correct. But during that time, I was trying to make sure that I do what is right. And if the president has to say that to anybody, he would tell you this. But can you also understand how people will now look at your situation and say, here you are, you've left the Gambia, you're nice and safe in the United States of America, and now you're criticizing the government of which you were once a part? Well, I know people would say that, but then people who know me would know that I stand for the truth. And the president knows, I'm, I'm, you know, sometimes he would even tell me, you are very stubborn. In the Gambia, who can talk to the government? Whatever you say is misconstrued, and the next minute you are arrested. I only wish I had the opportunity to tell this while I was there. So let me ask you then, in simple political theory terms, how does a government like that function if what you're saying is true? Well, again, it's the people of the Gambia. People don't like to talk about these issues. And if you look at all the people talking about these issues, they're outside of the Gambia. So once you are there, I think that is one area that the government worked on very well to make sure that people don't say anything in the Gambia, even though people know that some of these things that are happening are not right. And I wish the president knows that all these things are coming to haunt him. I asked you earlier if you had a grudge. You said that, yes. Is that going to translate into you being part of the opposition now? I uh, don't think I will be part of the opposition, but I think I'll be somebody who will be creating awareness to the people of the Gambia. So in other words, people will say you're still going to be creating problems for the government. I think maybe even the government would say that. But again, it is their fault. I mean, you cannot be doing things to people and you expect them to leave the Gambia and still say good things about you. Fatsu Kamara, the former aide of uh, President Yaya Jame of the Gambia, speaking from her base in the United States to focus on Africa's Esau Williams there. Now let's move on to East Africa.